Oh, hi. It's Mo Willems, and it is Monday, March 16th. Welcome to Lunch Doodles with Mo Willems. I'm here in my studio in Massachusetts. I'm in my home, and I know a lot of you guys are. And I wasn't planning on being here, and you probably weren't planning on being here either. But now that we're here, let's hang out to, together for a little while. Let's create some things. Let's doodle. I kind of want to show you a couple things in my studio. And let's find a way to be isolated and together at the same time. Well, here we are in my studio, and usually on a normal day, I would be on the phone or sitting here thinking, and I'd be taking notes, and these are my notebooks. Now what this is, if a book is a plant that grew, this is my garden. This is where I plant my ideas. These are, I put my seeds. Also in my notebooks is, look at that little weird guy. There's a big bad wolf. Monster negotiation, that's what it says. And so that's January 24, 2020. That's probably when we were figuring out what is called a deal, the sort of business that I'm going to be doing when later I'm going to be making TV. So I was on the phone, and sometimes when I'm on the phone and we have meetings and ideas, um, sometimes they don't go so well. I get a little bit angry. Or sometimes I'm just playing around, right? It's, I'm just doodling. So, my philosophy, there's they're drawings. When I make drawings, like that's the pigeon, and don't let the pigeon drive, drive the bus. But when I make doodles, I don't know what I'm doing. There's no right doodle or any wrong doodle. I'm just sort of having fun and exploring with a pen or a pencil a different way to make a line. So, what I thought we would do before we do anything else, before I walk around, before we do any drawings, is let's just take a couple minutes and let's just doodle. So, you're going to need some paper and a crayon or a pen or a marker so that we can just sort of do this together. So if you don't have it yet, press pause. And now go get the paper and the pencil and the stuff. There you go, get it. Right? Okay, I sound paused. You all right? Okay. Okay, I got it. You sure? Oh, oh, no. Oh. Go wash your hands. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, but sing it much slower. All right, we got everything? Okay, now, press play. Okay, is that the right one? Press play. I'm gonna get a little piece of paper. And I am going to doodle. Hmm, I wonder if we should have a theme. I don't know that we need, but I, my theme is gonna be creatures with a lot of legs. All right, you ready? All right, let's do it. How's yours going? Yeah? Well, mine has a beak, but yours doesn't have to have a beak. Maybe yours is uh, standing up, or maybe it has legs coming out of its head. I don't know. That would be kind of funny. All right. Mine's going to have a blue cheek and a blue beak. And I don't have that many colors, but that's okay. I need to have a lot of colors. I think that this creature is going to have a lot of stripes.
All right, this is my doodle of a creature with a lot of legs. And you know, it's not the best drawing I've ever made, but it was kind of fun just to, to get lost in it, you know, just to make a little doodle. I kind of want to see yours, and of course I can't right now, but at the bottom of the screen, there's going to be an email address, and if you've got one, you can take a picture of it and send it, and then maybe I'll get to see it. Um, oh, wait a minute, I always do this, I have a library date stamp. <clears throat> Forgot that. There it is. That's today's date. That way I know that I made this doodle today. Wow, yeah, that was it's kind of fun. So I, I do want to see your drawings, if I can, or at least some of your drawings. And I also want to hear some of your questions. Well, since this is the first day that we're all at home doing this lunch doodle time, I don't have your questions yet, but I did get some of the questions sent to me from my fan mail that comes in to my publisher from time to time. So I thought I would just take a few of them and read them. Here, this is the first one. And it says, Dear Mr. Willems, very formal, so I'm going to guess this was kind of like a school assignment or something. And they, they wrote this question all the way back in February. It says, I like your books. How is Trixie doing? Very well. Trixie's fine and healthy. And behind the camera. Do you like cake? <sighs> I'm going to be a little bit of a disappointment to you here, uh, Ireland. I don't like cake. I don't. Do you like playing ball? Oh, Ireland, now I'm going to make you happy. I love playing ball. I usually play a French ball game named Petonk. It's a really fun game, and it's called Petonk, because that's the sound that the balls make when they hit each other. Petonk. That was Ireland's question. That was a good question. I like that question. All right, I have another one here from Julia. Dear Mo Williams, Wilhelms. My name is Julia, and I am in the sixth grade. Me and my sisters really like to read your books. Thank you, Julia and your sisters. What is your favorite character slash book you have created? <sighs> well, that's a hard question. I usually say my favorite book is my next one because I want my next one to be even better than my last one. And the next book that I wrote is not coming out till next fall, when hopefully everybody will be in school. And it is an unlimited squirrels book called I Want to Sleep Under the Stars. Also, what books did you like to read when you were young? Sincerely, truly, I'm a really good drawing of Elephant and Piggy. Well, Julia, I... Love to read comic books when I was a kid. Now, when I was a kid, it was a long, long time ago, and a lot of teachers didn't think that reading Charlie Brown and Snoopy or Spider-Man was really reading, but I knew that it was. So I read Charlie Brown and Snoopy and Spider-Man and anything with a fun character saying something in a word bubble coming out of their mouth. Those were my favorite things when I was a kid. Now, another question I get all the time is what was your first book? Well, my first book is a book that I wrote or I drew when I was just a kid. I had a book called Laser Brain. I had comic strips that I would draw. But I think what people are asking is, what was the first book you ever had published? It's a good question. And the first book I ever had published is this. Ne laissez pas le pigeon conduire le bus. But that's, that's not what it first came out in French. It first came out in English. But 17 years ago, I wrote this book, and it was popular, and soon it became a very big book for me. Let's show you. It became, it became this big. It became enormous, right? And this book is my first book, and this is my first published character. Would you guys like to see some of the original drawings from this actual book in my studio? Yeah, I'm going to guess that that's a yes, because if not, you guys are tough, basically. <laughs> all right, we're going to go. Here we are in my studio. Now look at all these drawers behind me. I don't know if we'll get to all of them, but in each one of these drawers is the original art from one of my books. 
So, come on over here. Let's see. Oh, these are elephant and piggy. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Come on over. Come on over here. Look. See, here it says, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. And they're here. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. And random pigeon. These are other pigeony things. So let's open up. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Are we ready? Here we go. This is a mix of all the original art from that very first book. Okay, so this was, I think, probably my pitch document here, 13102. So that's a long time ago. I was making some drawings. That looks pretty close to what the book is right now. So this must have been pretty late in the process. Uh, copying. Yeah, this looks like how it was. Hey, can I drive the bus? That drawing's pretty close. Well, before I got to that, look at that. Now, these are super, super, super rough sketches. 1999, that's a long time ago. Um, and they are what is called in the business a dummy. Now, dummy is not a nice word unless you're making books. And then it means kind of a first draft where you're trying to find the rhythm and check off, find what the pages are going to be like, how they're going to look together. Look at that. Let me drive the bus! Now, you look at the final book. There probably there are lots of pigeons here, but this time I thought there'd only be one. Let's see what else is in this drawer. I have not looked in this drawer for a long, long time. Um, all right, more copy dummies. Oh, these are some colored finals. These have probably been in an exhibit. That's why they're on this fancy thing. And then after they're in an exhibit. Oh, here, look, like this. We were talking about, let me drive the bus. Let me drive the bus. Look at the difference between that and that. See? Colors are similar. And the attitude is similar, but a lot of different ideas about posing and how many pigeons were there and how to really make it look panic. Now that's just a print. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look, here's an original drawing. I made this in March of 2002. See? And I made it with a really crumbly pencil. Really, really crumbly pencil. And that's why there are all these crumbles in there. You see that? I wasn't so smart. I didn't think that this book it was going to be popular, and I didn't think I was going to keep the art for 20 years or more. So I just put it in a crumbly book. Oh, here's probably an early color draft. Oh, in between the pages. But look at this. These are the colors I thought it would be at first. I just, some of them are right, but some of them just aren't, right? They're too bold. And so I would get all these notes. From my editor, what about this? Or maybe we can change that little detail, or the color isn't right. Let's see. Oh, better from an agent. Mm -hmm. Here again, see the colors are different. This is called an F and G, folded and gathered. We'll talk about these maybe later in the week about what that means. Let's see. Oh, wow. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. I'm a little sketchbook. Early, early sketchbook version of it. Wow, what have I got? Oh, just little lines, pacing it out. And then I'm organized, but not that organized. Oh, recognize that drawing? Yeah, I changed the bus. I don't like, like that bus, so this probably isn't a final. Let's see now. Back. Oh, I like seeing that. Oh, there's an early. That's when I have one of those pictures from there. Some of those drawings look about the same. See, I used just a typeface when I was doing the dummies, and then when I came to doing the finals, I wrote it. I wrote it by hand in that same kind of style. That's pretty cool. All right, let me put these back. Because it's important, even if I'm not super organized. Try and save this stuff in case I want to see it later. All right. All right. Well, those are my drawers.
stores here. There's so many books, and maybe later we'll get to see some of those. Maybe we'll get to see some of the Elephant and Piggy books or some of the other stuff that I've been doing. I thought, now, let's draw the pigeon together. So, well, uh, we're getting our camera set up. You've got your paper, you've got your pen. Let me draw this pigeon together. Let's see what's going to be all right. Good pen for that. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so we have our drawing paper, top to bottom, like this tall. We're going to draw a pigeon. Now, a pigeon is a cartoon. It's not a doodle. It's a drawing. So there's kind of a right way to do it. And a cartoon is easy. It's just a bunch of shapes put together in the right order. Kind of like writing your name is just a bunch of letters put together in the right order. And uh, every time you're writing your name, you're making a cartoon. So let's start at the top of our page with a big letter O. Letter O, like in the word Mo. Have you done your letter O? Yeah, okay. Draw another letter O on the inside of that. Now it looks like a donut. Okay. Now is the most important part of the drawing, where the eye goes. Because the eye is the window to the soul if I'm drawing a character who's got a big smile, but really sad eyes. Like that, I guess. They're still sad. So, you put it in the middle, he's freaked out. You put it down, he's sad. I'm going to put mine up, because I'm going to make him cheeky today. Darken it in. Why am I darkening it in? Well, you always look at the darkest part of a drawing first. It's the most important part, and since the eye is the most important part, I want you to see that first. Now we're going to do the letter M or the letter O, letter M, sideways, and you have a beak. <laughs> All right. You yeah, ready? Two lines going down. I'm going to make funny sounds. Ready? Rup, rup. Did you say a rup, a rup? Pretty sure you did. All right. Let's do the two across for the collar. <coughs> now, we've come to my favorite shape because I invented it. It's the Mo Willems patented circangle. Now, a circangle is a circle that halfway through its life decides to become a triangle. Ready? Here we go. Oh, I'm a circle, I'm a circle, I'm a circle. Oh, it's so good to be a circle. I think I'd rather be a triangle. Boop. And it kind of looks like an ice cream cone, which is cool, that fell on the ground, which is sad, which grew a pigeon head, which is weird. All right, I'm going to do two more down here. Rup, rup. The pigeon has legs. Okay, do three V's. Let's say va, va, voom. The first one goes sideways. Letter V, va. Letter V, va. Letter V, voom. It's starting to look like a picture. Now, are we done? No. Got to make sure we write our name so that everybody knows that we drew it. And for me, today, I'm going to stamp it. An old library stamp. It says, March 16th, 2002. All right. Can I see your pigeons? Let me see your pigeons. Hold them up. Good. Yeah, yours doesn't look exactly like mine, does it? No, it's maybe your head is a little bigger or the legs are longer, but that's all cool because that means you were drawing in your own personal drawing style. Well, this is the it for us doodling together pretty much today, but I'll be back and I hope that you spend the rest of the day maybe drawing with members of your family or doodling or whatnot because it's really, really fun. So, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a final little doodle. We'll all hang out and make a little abstraction. We'll doodle together. And then I'll say goodbye for the day. Okay, here we go.
I'm going to call this doodle, we are all connected, because we are. I'll see you tomorrow.